Biologists with the Flathead Lake Biostation are sampling Flathead Lake for aquatic invasive species, and today was the first of three rounds of that sampling. As MTN's Nicole Miller reports, if they invade the ecosystem, those mussels could dramatically change the structure of the food web in the Flathead and could easily cause the entire system to crash. The samples will be tested for both eDNA and villagers. Warmer weather brings more eager to enjoy 360 views of Flathead Lake. But for researchers with the Flathead Lake Biostation, it means gearing up for battle against the spread of aquatic invasive species. We have 31 sites around Flathead Lake that we sample. 12 of them are from the boat and 19 are from the shoreline. Phil Matson and two other researchers collected water samples Monday from both the surface and bottom of the northern half of the lake from six hot spots to determine if mussels are present. It's called a plankton toe sample. Essentially, a net is trudged through the water to collect plankton. It will be sent to the University of Montana for testing with results expected back in about two to three weeks. The university will test the samples for the presence of environmental DNA. Samples will also be sent to Helena, where they will be tested for the presence of adult mussels known as villagers. If we have a positive detection from the villagers, that's a hard evidence for the state to say that, yes, we do have a population, a breeding population of dracinid mussels in the lake. Reporting from Flathead Lake, Nicole Miller, MTN News. Next week, the station will be sampling with crew members from the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Tribes for a second round of testing.